Mercedes had the CLA, Audi the A3, but BMW never had a compact sedan. Until now, that is. Say hello to the new BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe, and it's headed to India sometime in July or August. So styling wise, what exactly do we have here? Well, up front, first up is that new modern interpretation of BMW's kidney grille. It's more upright, it's closer together, it's more aggressive and in your face. That's what customers want, BMW say. And then you get these peel back headlights, they're more raked at the back with these LED elements. They're giving you the feeling of that double barrel headlight. Very BMW front, the chin, is even more aggressive, a lot of open space, a lot of inlets, a lot of sharp cuts and elements here. This car is running on 18 inch wheels, it's a two litre diesel and you have a nice long bonnet. But please remember, the engine isn't longitudinally placed, it's transverse and it's front wheel drive. Very different for a BAW drive from that transverse engine goes to the front wheels. Now here you have this nice tight fitting roof of course, it's a grand coupe, so the pillarless doors. No pillar here on the door. And as we go back, this nice fast back rear. The Hofmeister Kink, BMW's other signature, it isn't really that prominent. Now, this could be anything. It isn't a real Hofmeister Kink, but you also get these L-shaped tail lights at the back and interesting details here, like this faux vent. Now, I like the way they mounted the BMW logo here. It looks pretty cool. And at 430 liters, the boot is pretty spacious. In India, however, we will get a space saver tire and that should take up some of this place. Now, what surprises you as soon as you get into the cabin are the high quality levels. You have a beautifully built steering, this screen here, although a bit smaller, this instrument panel screen than something like the 3 Series, still very good, very high resolution. The touch screen here, it comes fully loaded. Very good quality levels here, as good as the 3 Series. Decent levels of quality here, pretty nice. And there's nothing that's really cheap or that stands out as low rent. Now that's very impressive for a car that's gonna sit below the 3 Series. And there's some really smart bits here as well. Look at this phone charger, it's at an angle. There's a bit of a ledge here, so your phone doesn't move and place it and it's charging. USB socket here, two cup holders, a decent sized elbow box, not too big, and most importantly, a very nice and comfortable driving position. Now these seats are a bit tight, they're a bit small, they're the sportier seats, and at times you feel the thigh support could have been better even on this front seat. Not a massive amount of space here, it clearly is tighter in the back than something like a 3 Series, marginally tighter. Now this seat is set for my driving position and yes, knee room is pretty good. You can put your feet under the seat. There's plenty of space here for your feet. A decent amount of knee room. Uh, thigh support isn't all that good. It's a bit short, the seat. And although the backrest is nice and comfortable and well inclined, you do have a bit of tightness here on the top. Now BMW have scooped out the roof but if you're over six feet tall or around six feet tall, you could make contact with the roof on a particularly bad road. You do get vents here for the back, so it'll cool the cabin nicely. A couple of USBs here, but three abreast in this car, not a good idea. The 2 Series Grand Coupe is expected to come to India with two engine options. The 220D will get a 190 horsepower 2 litre diesel, and the 220i will get a 192 horsepower 2 litre petrol. We expect prices to start around the 32 lakh mark and go up to around 38 lakh for the fully loaded car. <laughs>